couple tries today in particular came from the hard work of others and uh, it's like a celestial event, a second row getting two tries, so pretty happy with that. Bath up front were particularly strong today, was that a challenge you relished and is it the biggest one you've had this season do you think? Yeah, you've got to relish those challenges because otherwise uh, they're not very pleasant to be involved in. So um, we knew that Bath were going to be bringing a lot of beef up front, and um, and they certainly did. You know, we we didn't really get our scrum right today, and that's something that we need to learn for next week. But um, otherwise, I think our forwards fronted up, particularly in you know, defence, carrying the ball, line out went well. So we we're fairly happy with our forwards. Thirteen nil down so early. When you can see the try as you did from a Saints mistake rather than a bit of brilliance from Bath, is that easier to get over? Is it easier to sort of regroup and get the mind straight? I think when you're playing a quality team like Bath with the backs they have, we, 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 we know if we give them a chance, they might score. And sure enough, they did. Um, but the important thing was to, to learn from that mistake quickly, that we, we don't give them easy field position, we don't give them a chance. And um, I think we did that pretty well for most of the game. Another bonus point at home in the Premiership this season. Uh, how, how pleasing is it to put a show on for this crowd and have a full house today? No, we're looking to play a good brand of rugby and 15-man rugby. And, you know, Big Luth was just saying then, you know, We've got Luther, George, and, and uh, the big PC in the centre. You know, we said they're the ninth, tenth, and eleven forward. So uh, they did some really good carrying today. Got us on the front foot. And if and if we've got Sammy Manoa, Courtney Laws coming around the corner on front football, difficult to stop. And um, yeah, it was really pleasing to see. Jim, seven minutes into that game, and Bath have scored a try, ten points. What's going through your mind? Um, what's going through my mind? Oh, lots of different things. Ken PC, don't chip, kick long, kick high, run hard, don't rush in in defence, particularly when we're numbers down. But these things happen, and uh, I think what we did do is, you know, let's compose ourselves, let's do the things that we know that work. And we did that, and we, we took them on. I think the set piece was very tight, they've got a really good set piece, a lot of credit to Bath there, they've improved in that area. Um, but then play some rugby, and I think we played with, with, with tempo, I think we varied our our attack, some good mauling, some, some good breaking from maul, some good going wide, use of the short side to attack, um, so delighted with that. So, following on from that first question, half-time going in 21-13, what's going through your mind? Well, miles better, let's keep playing that where we've played in the last 30 minutes, not the first 10 minutes basically, there the message is keep playing, and I think we did that, I think they, they came back and kept it tight, again lots of credit to them, tight rolling mall, big solid pack, hard to stop, hard scrum to, uh, to to stop as well. But I think we what we did do well is we kept coming back and we kept playing rugby, we kept um, you know keep looking after the ball and score some cracking tries. The game was billed as the meeting between two of the Aviva Premiership's form teams and a couple of juggernaut teams that, are, that have a reputation this season for steamrolling. Did it live up to that, do you think? Yeah, I think it did. I think um, yeah, we've had some big games um, this season and I think that was one of the big games and I think, um, I, again I keep saying it, but a lot of credit to Bath. I think they've improved as a side. I think they will be in the top four this year and, and pushing hard, competing. They're, they're good. But I think we, we picked it up. We picked it up from last week. We knew we had to. Much better performance from us today and um, it, it leaves us in a good position. Short turnaround to Harlequins at home next week. In previous years, you've had to go away uh, on New Year's after a, after a home game. Did it make life a little bit more straightforward to have a couple of home games back to back? Yeah, I think over the Christmas New Year period, you'd want to play at home. I think uh, nobody really wants to travel around around this time. It doesn't affect you too much, but uh, I think if you had a choice, you want to play at home. So we, we, we've played well the last two weeks now after that Leinster game. Um, you know, we battled it out last week, stuck together. This is a good performance this week, and we'll need an equally big performance next week against Harlequins. And if we can get that, then it's, it'll leave us in good position in the league and looking then forward to Europe.